We told you earlier about a seven-year-old girl whose body was found in a Scottsville pond on Friday night. Folks in the town are still concerned that whoever killed Gabby Doolin is still out there. For us, it's, it's too close to home now. 4,000 people live in the town of Scottsville, Kentucky. And it doesn't take long to see that nearly every one of them is hurting right now. Let's do this for Gabby's family, okay? So we, they know that we love them. For Christy Webb, this is a life lesson. You know, she's got brothers. She never thought she'd have to teach her daughter. It would let them know that we were thinking about them. We love them. Oh. Here, put it down over there on the bank. Leaving a stuffed animal for her first grade classmate, who state police say was killed here last night. Nothing like this has ever happened. And for the family, it's, it's other shock for what they're having to go through. Gabby Doolin was cheering on her two older brothers who were playing youth football. Around 7.30 last night, she went missing. 30 minutes later, she was found dead in this small pond. She was seven years old. It's unimaginable, the, the senselessness of what's happened. Based on the way she was found, officials immediately labeled Gabby's death a homicide. Her heartbroken father later took to Facebook. We've never been this empty, he said. I'd give anything to hold my baby girl just one more time. I don't know why anyone would do this to a baby or anyone for that matter. She always had a smile on her face and always lit up the room. A bright light in this small town now trying to find its way out of darkness. It's forever changed now. We will continue to keep you updated on this story as it unfolds.